Today, I want to talk about taking the stress out of trading and one of the simplest things we can do to take that stress away. I don't know if you guys know, but Karina and I are moving. We've sold our house in Vancouver and we're moving to the Okanagan. I am so excited to be going back to where I was born. And I'm excited to show you guys the new office and the new shop space and all the fun stuff that comes with that. One of the things that we're going to be losing is actually the passive investment income from having a rental suite down below us in our house. And I want to share with you some thoughts on making the investments more passive. More passive? Is that the right term? I don't know. Let's talk about that. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Levi Woods. This is Drawbridge Finance. This is an opinion channel only about money, not offering financial advice. But one of the things that I have learned over many, many years of option trading is how to take the stress out of trading because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like being stressed out. That's why I don't play zero days to expiration trades. I'm a long-term option trader. So I'm typically putting in positions that are 60 to 45 days on entry. I'm typically taking them off around 21 days to expiration. And I'm only holding positions to expiration that I have to. Usually that means they're on stocks that are illiquid, like Alta Gas, Enbridge, Fortis. Those are things that I had to hold through expiration today. But I'm always surprised how many messages I get on the expiration monthly cycle. Like today, November 20th, I just absolutely got obliterated today. You know, now we're up to 47,000 subscribers on the channel, which is amazing. Thank you guys all for subscribing. We've got over 400 patrons on Patreon. We've got a ton of people in the chat room every single day, which is great because I get to learn more about what I'm doing by teaching other people how to trade options. And one of the things that I think that is super important to know is that in my particular trading style, I am not holding to expiration any options that are in the money. That term in the money is super important to option traders. If you don't know what that means, you should probably not be trading options yet or you should go look it up because in the money is when an option is going to expire with value. And that's as simple as it is. It means it's on the wrong side of the position if we're an option seller like myself. So if I'm holding something past 21 days to expiration, it's usually an out of the money option because if it's in the money, I'm either gonna close for a loss or I'm gonna roll it out in time to defend the position. So when it gets down to the very end and I'm like in that last week, there's a lot of assignment risk on in the money positions. So I need to take off that risk because I don't want to hold the stress of potentially being assigned a position that I don't want to either hold. If it's a naked put, I might be assigned the shares or if it's a naked call, I might have the shares called away from me that I don't own. And that would be a terrible situation to be short shares while the stock was going up. I hate losing money when the stocks are going up. In fact, Today I got asked about some calls and if I have any naked call positions and I don't have any. I have all, like almost 40 positions open right now and all of them are protected by a long call that's either further up the chain or in a different month in the case of a humpback, which you guys saw that video the other day, or I own the stock. If I, I play lots of covered calls because there's no upside risk at all. And, and then I feel very confident selling that call. And in that case, I would let those particular calls go in the money, no problem, if I'm okay with letting them get a call away from me. But typically, to avoid stress in my life, as soon as we're into that last week, I am looking for opportunity to roll at the earliest possible moment. So I had everything that was even on the edge of being in the money rolled by this last Wednesday. So that was two full days of buffer, like two days. I'm not waiting to the last day to be like, oh, but my goodness, I've got to get these positions off. It just doesn't make sense to me to do that. So if you're sitting there and looking at your portfolio and thinking, well, yeah, I do that all the time. It's, it's stressful. Why am I like, why am I worried about assignment? That's how I deal with it. That's just me. I deal with them early and I either roll the position or close for a loss. I mean, it's, it's no skin off my nose. When there's only like two days left, there's very little time value anyway. So I just take those as a loss and then I will move on to a new position that's gonna make more money. Anyways, that's my thoughts for today. I hope that helps. I, you know, I'm here to help. So reach out and hopefully I'll get back to you because it's getting busy over here. I love it. I love all the, the support of the channel. I love when you guys hit that thumbs up button down below. And uh, I love the community that we've built here. It's been 
absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for watching and see you very soon.